Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to write Java implementation of binary search on arrays data structure. Uh, and we have already discussed that binary search implementation we can do in two ways. One is iterative mode of implementation. Another one is recursive. So in this video, we are going to cover iterative mode of implementation. And recursive mode of implementation will be covered in next lecture. So here I have given class name as binary search and let's define the method. Method signature will be public and I want to return the index of the target element if it is present in the array otherwise minus one which is invalid index. So the method signature will be public in search and here the input will be obviously array which is our search space and we are going to find out given target is present in the given array or not. So if we don't find anything, we will return minus one. So we have taken one array which is having 11 elements. So the size of the array is 11. So in binary search, one condition is that the array should have some inherit ordering like array should be in sorted order or any kind of ordering. So here if you notice it, the elements of the array are arranged in sorted order, right? So then only we can able to apply binary search algorithm on the search space. So first assumption is that the target element might exist in, in the range from 0 to 10, right? So that's the reason what is the starting index we, we consider 0 and what is the end index we consider which is 10 which is last index of the array. So here let's assume that we are going to search here let's assume that we are going to search 17 which is present in the given array or not right. So first we have to define low parameter which is at starting index and high parameter which is at last index of the array. So this is low and this is high. Then we have to compute mid right. So what is the formula for computing mid? mid equal to low plus high divided by 2 right. So let's first write the same thing in code. So first we are taking low as a starting index of the array which is 0 and high as last index of the array which is array dot length minus 1. So then in binary search, what we do, we just compare with whether the middle element value is matching with the given target element or not, right? Int mid equal to low plus high divided by 2. And in iterative mode, we need to iterate through the array, right? So means we need to give some loop. Whenever we are iterating, means we need to provide loop, either for loop or while loop. So here, I am defining while loop and the check will be low less than or equal to high. So currently low is less than or equal to high. If any time low crosses high, then we are sure that we have visited the entire array and we didn't get our target element in the array. So once we compute mid, so we have to compare whether the given element is present at mid or not. So here uh, low, low is uh, 0 and high is 10 divided by 2 right which is 5 so index is 5 so so first we will we will see whether array mid is matching with given target or not so array mid equal to equality operator equal to target then we are going to return mid as the index right because we are going to return where exactly it found yes we found that mid index means we are going to return that but here what is the case it is not matching if array mid here array mid is 8 less than 17 so array mid less than target so as the array is in sorted order and 8 less than even target element which is 17 means the target definitely exists after 8 only there is no possibility of our target in first half of the array so we are going to search in this space mid plus one because this is our mid means this is mid plus one to high right 
so we have to update low to mid plus one and high there is no change right so that means we have to repeat again from this line onwards right so suppose if this is not the case else case for example assume that uh, instead of 17 uh, uh, the target element is 2 if the target element is 2 and 8 greater than 2 right so if 8 greater than 2 is nothing but after mid we won't find two element means the target element might exist in the, this first half right so this case what we have to do we have to, low will be as it is and high gets changed to mid minus one so here first we have taken this as low and we have taken last index as high and we have computed mid so low, high is 10 and low is 0 which is divided by 2 which is equal to 5 so mid is at 5 in this case a mid less than target right as a mid less than target we are going to ignore first half which is from low to mid so this is going to be our such space right first low equal to 0 high equal to 10 and mid equal to 5 low will become mid plus 1 which is 6 and high will become as it is right so same process we have to repeat for this such, such space now our such space is from mid plus 1 to high so here 6 plus 10 divided by 2 which is uh, 8 so mid is at index 8 and this is low again we are going to compare mid with our target element which is 17 so here 21 greater than 17 means 21 and the elements which are after 21 definitely we are not going to find 17 so we have to reduce our high value to the mid minus 1 high equal to mid minus 1 which is 7 so now again we have to compute mid value so 6 plus 7 divided by 2 which is actually 6 right so at the same time we need to check whether low less than or equal to high or not so low and mid at the same point this is a mid now so a mid equal to 17 and which is matching with our target element which is 17 means we found our answer at index 6 let's write main method first let's take input array so target element is 17 and first let's create object for this target element where exactly take this and we have to give array target element so let's run this code so 17 exists at index 6 right so how many iterations we have taken total if you notice at this end of the third iteration we found the answer right means total three iterations so if you want we can print iterations also using count variable so we can increment count and let's print before returning the mid value so now let's run the code again so next video we will cover how to write the recursive mode of implementation of binary search algorithm on arrays i hope this code is clear to you thank you for watching stay tuned happy learning